make sure that I change this game over. But we are gonna end on Aquamarine today, which I am extremely excited about. Um, it just came out on the 20th. And hold, let me let me resize this. We'll see if captions are there on the game. And if so, I'll resize it to make sure that um, the game border isn't covering that up. But I'm really, really excited. So Aquamarine is a quiet survival game about perception and discovery in an alien ocean. We're going to explore a planet reclaimed by nature, cultivate new life to survive, and journey into unknown depths while trying to find a way home. And I am super, super excited. Um, it just came out. Um, the devs were so lovely and um, sent a key for it. That way we can showcase it today. And I'm very excited because it looks really, really beautiful. And I'm really excited to see how how the gameplay is gonna go. There are a couple of warnings, um, trigger and content warnings for this. So there are some, there's some screen shaking, some flashing and bright lights. Um, there is psychedelia, they let me know, um, deep sea creatures and exploration, as well as light fantasy violence, and it's all about survival as well. And so those are some of the content warnings for this. Please, please, please do not feel bad um, if you have to pop off because of any of those, because those are some big triggers. And so, I'm very excited, so let's let's start. I'm so excited. Aquamarine is best played without distractions. All progress is permanent. There's only one save per game. Take time to soak in the world, observe your environment, make careful decisions, and thoughtful choices are key to survival. Who wants to guess that we're gonna die really quickly? Who's, who wants to bet that we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna perish very quickly? My story <laughs> began long ago, on the edge of the known galaxy. I was the newly appointed seeker, sent to find another path for our survival. But what I discovered challenged my own will to survive. My story. God, this began art is long beautiful. Ago, on a planet lost to time. On a planet that changed me forever. On a planet I call Aquamarine. I love this music. Look at that smoke. I need to reach my ship before it's destroyed. I've exhausted my supplies. Better take a dive and see what I can find. Let's go to the map. I need to find a way to reach the crash somehow. Well, let's dive, I guess. Stranded, lost, and alone, the Seeker entered. This art is so fucking beautiful. Ooh! The Coral Woods. I love this artwork. Ooh. Greetings, Seeker. I am your survival class amphibious pod. I'm here to help you stay alive, as long as that's alright with you. To get started, I'll show you how to use my controls. That would be great, please and thank you. On the terrain, you'll see icons indicating where we can travel. Select one to add it to my navigation path. Select the same icon again to move us to that space. Oh, okay. Every space we move uses one bit of my fuel reserves. Now my tank is running a little low. Thankfully, the brilliant engineers who designed me planned for this to happen. What the fuck is that? <laughs> what is this creature? My engine converts certain objects into energy, like those nearby gens. My sensors indicate that they're brimming with useful energy. Oh my god, is that a fucking platypus fish? I would die for that platypus fish. My sensors indicate they're brimming with useful energy. Move, move us over to one so I can pick it up. These ones? I love this. Now that we have energy in our reserves, let's put some into the fuel tank. First, press the up arrow to access my control panel. Then look for the button, or excuse me, look for the button with the battery icon. With the control panel up, 
press the battery button to transfer one bit of energy from my reserves into the fuel tank. Hold it down if you want to transfer more than one at a time. Um, hold on, that was a lot of information. This one. Okay. God. <laughs> that was a lot of information in my- like, it went, o it went over my brain, to be quite honest with you. Okay, so press the up. Every time we get one of those things, press the up button, and click on that battery thing. That's... <sighs> we got this. Pretty simple, right? My designer's out of everything. Energy can also repair my hull when I take damage. Find and press the button with the shield icon to boost my defenses. Are things gonna attack us down here? The fuck? That's much better. Don't you feel safer already? Collecting energy allows us to keep exploring, but you also need energy to survive, so let's find you something to eat. What about one of those spongy plants? My sensors indicate they're safe and tasty source of nutrition for biological entities such as yourself. Let's go grab one. This thing? I'll take it. You got one. Does it smell delicious? I don't know why it would, but I do know it'll be good for you, and it will give you the energy you can- you need to navigate us home. As you can see, I monitor your vital signs and food stock on the right side of my controls. Press the heart button to eat the food displayed on the screen. Ooh, okay. The little <laughs> noise was very cute. <laughs> oh gosh, I love this. We're almost ready to move on, but first we need more gems. Every time I convert a gem into energy, it also charges my long-range engine. The engine needs three charges to reach a new area. Okay. Let's quickly chase down some gens so we can activate my long-range engine. Otherwise, we'll get stuck charging it manually from our energy reserves. No need for that. Alright, so let's fucking get a bunch of these gems, I guess. Oh, uh, let's get this one. Let's grab this. Look at all these fucking fish! Oh my god. Now let's get to exploring. My ener with my engine fully charged from those gems you collected, we are ready to travel to a new area. I have to say, this is very exciting. Activate my long-range engine by pressing the top right switch on my central panel. You'll know it's ready because the indicator light is on. Then select the direction you want to travel. So this one? <clears throat> there? I love the artwork for this. This is so cool. Hear that ping? My scanner has detected a unique object in this area. It could very well improve your chances of survival. Wouldn't you agree? Let's look around until we find it. Let's grab some of this bullshit. Let's go get more of that stuff. That way we have it. This way? Let's go this way. Maybe it's this direction. We'll just... We'll keep vibing over here. Ooh, this? Is it that? Maybe it is that. Okay, let's fuck down. Here we go. Hold on. There it is. Do you see that colorful disc stuck beneath the roots of that huge tree? We should be able to get it, get to it from that open section on the water's surface. Give me that floppy disk. Come on. On my central panel, check the lock top left switch. If the indicator light is on, press the switch to shift us up to the surface if the light is off. Something is in our way and we cannot shift there. Ooh. Okay, that was really fun. Okay, so let's go this way then, because we need to get this. And then we'll pop back down. There. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Damn it. I messed up. I messed up. <laughs> Hold on, this one? Hold on, is this one? I just want to go down there and get our floppy disk. Is that so much to ask? Fuck. <laughs> no!
Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. The pod was pushed to its limits and cracked, only able to float back to the island. The Seeker recalled something in the manual about regeneration. A quick read and she put it in motion. She then began riding the water, wringing the water from her clothes. Chances of hypothermia were slim, but not impossible, and she'd been waiting on the beach for a while. Well, fuck. <laughs> okay, well I fucked up there. It's fine. If I don't find a food source soon, I won't last much longer. Better take a dive and see what I can find. Well, let me dive! Can I- can I please dive? Is it not gonna let me dive? Oh, I gotta click on it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I cannot believe that I already killed us. Like, this is literally, like, beginning. Like, this is literally the beginning section <laughs> of this game. And my ding-dong ass really destroyed us. <laughs> I feel so bad about that. Okay, hold on. Let's do the same thing. Where let's get some energy. And then we can travel to that same location. So I think we do... Want... Oopsies. Whoa, never mind. Not that. How did I travel last time? Hold on. For the life of me, I can't fucking remember. Oh shit, not this one. Whoopsies. <laughs> okay, maybe not that. Let's let's pop back this way. See if we can find more energy things. And then maybe we can travel. Let's go down this way. Ooh, this way? No. This way? Are there any more energy sources? I would- I would- I would love some energy sources, please and thank you. Um... My scanner won't activate if it's not charged. Okay, okay. Travel to this location. Okay, so you can travel that way. Okay. So now... We need to find energy. Oh god, thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness. Okay, now we need to find more energy, because if not, we're gonna fucking die again. And that would be very bad for us. Um, because we're trying to figure out how the fuck to get in there. <laughs> we're trying really hard. The pods... The pods long-range energy... Long range engine is ready to activate. Well, I don't want to go anywhere though. I'm happy with where we're at. Well, I guess we're gonna go west then. It didn't give me a choice. Okay. <gasps> Who are you? Look at the platypus. Are they gonna kill me? Are. Are they an enemy that wants to kill me? Honestly, I'm a little stressed now. Let's get some of this fuel. I don't really want to go anywhere, though. I'm, I'm, I'm vibing. I'm vibing over here. Trying to find some fucking food for us, because otherwise we're going to die. We go this way? Well, let's go east, then. Let's go east. I want that floppy disk. I don't know how to get it, but I want that floppy disk. So we're gonna do our best to go up here, move here, maybe over here, maybe here, oh, maybe up here, one more, this one, oh, finally. I was like, how the fuck can we get that? 
And I'm glad we've got it now. Do I know what it is? No, but like, I'm sure we'll find out soon. Hopefully. Okay, let's... Um, are we supposed to try... Let's travel over here. Ooh. A disc found discarded in ocean shallows. Must be analyzed by the pod to reveal its contents. Okay, so we need to find a way to the crash site. Analyze the disc on the island and find more scrap in the shadows. Okay, so let's go this way. So let's go that way. Let's see if we can find more food and stuff over here. Oh my god, I'm so stressed about this fucking platypus. I'm so sorry. I, I feel like they're gonna they're gonna destroy our entire booty hole, you know? <laughs> like I'm so scared <laughs> that they're gonna try to attack us for whatever reason. <laughs> cause they because they've got that aura around them. And I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay. So there's nothing over here. Oh. I thought that meant that this was ready to, to teleport, so why is it not ready to teleport then? Alright, that's fine. Um... Is that how I can get back home? Oh. I don't really know what that did, but that's fine. How do I go back home? How do- how do I get back home from this? Travels to the island. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we're getting the hang of it. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. As the seeker surveyed her meager stock, letting out a sigh of disappointment, something on the water's edge glimmered in the corner of her eye. Could it be an alien seashell? Or maybe some sort of dangerous plant, deadly to the touch? No way to know what strange ocean what the strange ocean might wash ashore. Was it worth finding out? Absolutely, fucking loopy we're going. Amazing. Sitting there in the rocky sand, wet and covered from unknown goo, was a sizable chunk of gem from out in the shallows. How it made it this far to the island was a mystery. But the seeker wasn't about to answer to question good fortune, excuse me. She dropped it into the pause energy converter, and in no time she was up to 43 energy resources. Maybe surviving on this strange planet wouldn't be impossible after all. There we go. Um, so can we analyze that please? The disc contains plans for a unique pod module. It takes 20 energy to craft. Well, we're gonna fucking craft it. Now I just have to load my new module into the pod, so it pushes back all objects surrounding the pod. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's really, really neat. Okay. So, let's... Oh, should we dive again, I guess? I don't know if there's, like, an option for us to sleep. It didn't look like it. And so let's, let's dive back in and see what other things we can find, perhaps. Hopefully, oh god, hold on, let's uh, <laughs> let's do that real quick to make sure that we don't die. All right, food, I think would be really, really nice. So if we could find some fucking food down here, that would be really heckin' lovely. Let's head over here again and see if we can find anything this way. Are you gonna attack me? Oh! Well, fuck. The answer is yes, that this platypus is going to attack. What the fuck is that? Uh, nope. <laughs> Absolutely the fuck not. I don't think so. Okay. We're gonna fuck off. Let's go. 
off in that direction. Because <laughs> I am so stressed. Not another fucking platypus that's going to kill us. What are these bones? Okay. I don't want this platypus around me. Because I know you're gonna kill me. Or attempt to smack me at least. And I hate it here. Oh god. I've made a mistake, but I wanted to know what the hell this was. Ugh! Need to put some energy into my hull before it cracks. Uh, I don't know how to do that, babe. Like, I'm so sorry to tell you, but I don't know how to put things into the hole. I, I haven't learned that yet. So it's fine. You'll be fine. You're gonna live. I hope. <laughs> like, I hope. Oh, god. Um. I'm so stressed. I don't want to try. I take it back. I take it back. Let's. Uh, let's go back. Um. Let's. You know. Let's do this again. Let's do that again. This is fine. We'll we'll just keep traveling. We'll just keep traveling. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're not stressed. You're stressed. Ooh. Looks like that gem charged up my scanner. Ooh. Okay. Oh, this platypus is gonna fuck me up, aren't they? I just want that. I just want that, but you're now in my way, is the issue. Ooh. I wonder what info the new scanner just collected. That is so cool. Scan areas to collect useful data about plants and wildlife. That is so neat. All right, yeah, this fucking platypus is gonna absolutely destroy us. Selected a pip. To read your collected scan data. I love that. These massive coral growths are indestructible at the start of their life cycle, but turn brittle and, brittle and hollow with time. A mostly friendly species found in the ocean's shallows tends to eat most everything it can find. Well, that's a lie because it attacked us without reason earlier. Oh god, I fucked up. Oh, thank god. I really thought we were gonna get attacked again by that thing, and so I'm very glad that we did not. Because I was stressed. Oh, right, you know, let's fuck off again. Let's go what look go weast. Let's go weast. Do I know what we're doing? No, but we're we're having fun and the game is beautiful. We're gonna what the fuck is this? We're gonna try to collect whatever that is? Hold on, what? What? This is perfect for collecting rainwater on the island. Oh, hold on, what? You know what, it's fine. We're gonna- we're fine. Let's just keep- let's just keep exploring. I feel like we're doing a lot of good shit. Ooh, what the fuck is that? What is that? Um, what the fuck is this tentacly boy? You know, we're just gonna get food. We're just gonna continue to eat food. Oh my god, look at this tendril boy, too. What? I love them. They're so cute. Oh my god. I want to get close to them. I'm a little scared that it's gonna smack us. Oh, thank goodness it doesn't. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. Let's go this way. Let's go... Let's go up. Um, let's head back to the island. There's only so much alien sponge you can scavenge, wouldn't you agree? You need a way to grow fruit. If my predictions are accurate, the more we search this ocean, the more likely we'll find what you need. You know, thank you so much. I appreciate you. So let's go back to the island. And let's see what we've gotten. And maybe we can find a way to make food? Or have water? Rumbling comes from the Seeker's stomach, as if reminding her of a simple task. She scans her tiny island for anything that looks remotely edible. But it isn't food she sees. A glassy dome, like an underground skylight, sits on the beach. Surely no subterrestrial agent- oh, 
New subterranean aliens live just below the planet's surface. It might be something else, right? We're gonna obviously approach it. We're literally gonna- I think we're gonna approach every single thing unless it definitely seems like it's harmful. You know? Cause like, why not explore? Why not? The Seeker stood over the bubble. Up close, it looked less like a window than salvage torn from a larger wreck, and something else was underneath it. She flipped over the half dome to reveal two pieces of scrap metal shaped like crude tools. One for digging, one for cutting. She took both back to the camp. The Seeker's new discovery could very well end up bring, being her key to survival. Okay. The fuck is all this? Oh shit, I didn't mean to drop that. Garden? We can garden with this? Ooh. Harvest? Fertilizer. <gasps> Ooh. Hold on. Fertilize this bad boy. This is so fun. I love this. Also, I love that they're like glowing a little bit. Like, that's real cute. Like, that's real cute. Okay. Let's go back to the beach and let us. I guess let's head back in. Let's head back in and dive and see if we can find other things to, um, like other plants and stuff that we can grow for food. Because that's fun. I love that. Also, hi, Moon Elf. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. We're playing a game called Aquamarine today that is about like deep sea exploration. So I did want to make sure to flag that. How are you doing? How's your day going? I hope you're doing well. Oh, okay. Hold on. Give us, give us this. We need this. Okay, hold on. We... The pod's long-range engine is ready to activate. Okay, so let's... I guess we can go south. Like, let's go south. That works. Doing good. Had some stomach issues earlier, but they cleared up. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that they cleared up. I'm so glad. Oh, goodness. I hope that you're, like, I hope that you're able to have a relaxing day now that that is, uh, now that that is fixed and hopefully okay. <laughs> It took me a while to wake up this morning. I was so freaking tired. My insomnia has been really, really bad lately. And I was just in in bed. I was just like laying in bed, scrolling Twitter for hours before I woke up for well, maybe like an hour and a half before I woke up. <laughs> okay, where the fuck is? are we trying to go, babes? Let's go here. Let's go here, perhaps. Because it looks like, what the fuck is that gem? Ooh. <gasps> what the fuck was that? What? What? <gasps> My fuel is out. Better transfer some energy. Well, fuck us. What is that creature, though? No! <gasps> did all of those run away? Oh my god, did they kill the platypus? <gasps> what the fuck is this other creature? Looks like the scanner found some new data. I fucking hate it here. Oh my fucking god. Arr! I got a little stressed. I got a little stressed. I'm a little mad at the mail. We just got a, we got just a very little bit of snow and they won't deliver the package of my book because they don't want to walk through it. I am so sorry, Glittering Moon Elf. Oh my gosh. What a feeling. I <laughs> You know, when I lived in um when I lived in warm states. Like, I, I, I definitely feel that. There was one time where it snowed in Las Vegas when I was very, very young. Um, and Las Vegas is very, very warm, and they're not prepared for snow. And it, there was one time where it snowed, like, an inch or two, maybe. Like, not even an inch or two. And, like, everything shut down because they were like, oh, my God. Like, they didn't know what to do with it. And it was very, very funny to look back at that now and now live in a cold state where, like, we get a lot of snow every single year. 
And it's very, very, it's very, very interesting to see different states' reactions to it. I'm so sorry. I hope, I hope that it comes in tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday. I take it back. It's not going to come in tomorrow, probably. I hope that it comes in soon. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that, is, that is so unfortunate. Oh, God. These silly looking creatures do little else but burrow under the sand and wait for their prey to swim nearby. Well, my ding dong ass fucking went right over to it and unleashed it. A sneaky species that uses camouflage to track its prey. This could be dangerous. This could be a dangerous predator if left undetected. I am so stressed. I'm not even gonna lie. I, I, I am very stressed. I don't have energy. That's the issue. Like, I, I don't have energy. And I don't think there's a way for me to currently get energy. And so are we literally about to die? Like, are, are we about to, are we about to perish? I think we might. Like, I, th I think we're going to. What did I just do? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, well, fuck me. I can't believe I did that again. <laughs> Let's regenerate. Fuck. <laughs> oh, everything's fine, okay? Everything's fine. Is this ready to harvest? That's all I want to know. Is this ready to harvest? No, it's not. Liz. <laughs> I am just in pain. That is the second time I've done that. And I am so concerned. I hope everyone else is having issues and it's not just me. Like, cause I feel like a bit, like I feel like a really big ding dong that I just am not good at resource management to the point where I've killed this sweet character twice already. Like literally killed them twice because I haven't paid attention. Haven't paid attention to the, um, <laughs> to the, um, to the resources and the fuel that I have. But it's okay. It's not okay, but we're doing okay. <laughs> uh, give me this fuel. Give me, give me, give me this fuel. Give me the whole. Let's, let's go to the right, up, wherever we want to go. Oh, is it going to go up? Okay. Happy in this area. I'm happy in this area. <laughs> oh god, this fucking platypus is gonna destroy me, aren't they? I just feel like they're gonna attack me and I'm so stressed. <gasps> oh, you fucking beautiful soul, you. Thank you so much. You're gonna hit me now, aren't you? Please don't attack me. All I want are these pieces. I just want... Those pieces, but you're in the way. Let's go this way. Hold on. Can I can I move this way and then move up? Okay, because I what we need we need those fuel pieces like really fucking badly. I'm sorry, platypus. You're gonna be so fucking mad that I'm here. Are they gone? Fuck me. There's spiky flora in the way, but I don't think it's very sturdy. Do I have to, like, barge into it? Is there a way for me to barge into it? Or, er, not that. I didn't want to do that. Whoopsies. The charge. Let's do... Hold on. Let's do the charge. Hold on. How do I do this? What the fuck is this? Oh my god. What? I'm so stressed. 
As I understand it, this module enables me to slam down underwater with great force, creating a large wave that pushes back objects. Probably the only way we can move things around here. Well, I want that to happen for right here. Pod's long-range energy is ready to activate. I mean, can we do it, though? Can we please do it? Ooh. I mean, can we- can we do it? Yes! Now the pod can make it through those vines. Hell yeah. Also, why? Why did tornadoes start up? Like, I am so concerned. Okay, I don't want. I don't want to slam back down. How can I get back over here? Okay, so let's go this way now. Now that we can make it through this area, let's go this way. See what's over here. See what's see what's happening. Ooh, give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. I need more fuel, please and thank you. Well, what are these? I don't know, but we're gonna fucking take both of them. All right, and we're no longer, we are no longer gonna fall for this motherfucker because we know that it's a predator ready to attack us. Okay, is there anything over here? I'm so sorry, sweet platypus. I'm so sorry. I know we're in the way. Ooh. Can I take what this this floppy disk? No? I can just like look at it. No, that's fine. Let's go this way. Uh let's let's up the fuel again, I guess. And we really need to find food now. I'm a little concerned because we haven't really found food anywhere. Which is a little problematic because we we need to eat, right? Like we need to eat. Ooh, what the fuck is this? I'm gonna take this again. Oh, I'm so stressed. And are you in a personal submarine? We are. We're playing Aquamarine. Here, let me output those. We're playing Aquamarine, and we have died twice already because I'm a ding dong who doesn't pay attention to the resource management, like prospect. <laughs> It's been really fun. And yes, I'm therapized. Look, allow me to share my post-therapy vibes with all fun. Yes. I hope that therapy went really heckin' well. And I hope that it was wonderful. And I hope that you had a great time. So, yeah. Hope it was super, super helpful. Ooh. We're gonna shove all these fuckers over here. Hold on. No room in the garden till I harvest a plant. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Well, is this ready to harvest? No, it's not. Okay. Well... We've done a lot. We've done a lot. Um, we really need food. Is the issue. We really need fucking food. Like, we need food. But we're kind of screwed right now because we don't have food. <sighs> Let's go back to the map. Let's go diving again. You know what? Why not? Right? It is a really, really pretty game, right? Like, it's beautiful. We have, like, deep sea creatures that are, like, platypus, which are very cute, not gonna lie. And it's been really, really fun so far. I've really liked it. I'm just really stressed because it's a resource kind of management game where we're, like, exploring the ocean and trying to survive and make our way home. However, I am not great <laughs> with resource management and survival games. And so, because of that, we are almost out of energy, which means we're almost dead. As well as getting really, really, really low on food and hunger levels, which means we're gonna die soon. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm so stressed. Oh my gosh, yes, have a great lurk. I appreciate you so much, Steffi. I know I'm trying really hard, Steffi. I'm trying fucking hell. <laughs> I appreciate you have a great time in D&D. Oh my god, I hope you have fun. I've got D&D &D after this too, which I'm very, very excited about. Okay. Like, there, there's not much I can do, is there? Because, like... I, like, there... I, I'm, I'm gonna die. We're taking energy from my shield... We're taking energy from my shield in order to actually be able to travel places, to find food, 
which is very bad for us because it's it's not gonna go great, is it, y'all? It's it's not gonna fucking go great. <laughs> also, hi, MB, how are you? I'm so excited for our D&D session later. <laughs> I think it's gonna be so much fun. And also, I'm very excited to try out Monster Hearts because- <gasps> Oh, fuck me, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. God damn it. We're dead. Like... I'm sorry to let y'all know. We're... We're gone. It was nice knowing you. That's the third time in the last like 20 minutes. That's the third time in the last in the last 20 minutes that we've died. It's fine, it's fine. Everything's cool. Everything's cool. <laughs> we didn't say that we were good at this game. Okay, I specifically said we were not good at this game. Ooh, hold on, harvest? It's not ready to harvest yet. What about this one? No. Well, okay then. That's fine. But yeah, I'm so excited. Actually, I do. Hold on. I just Aww. haven't been. Uh, I just haven't been doing the thing. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it two more times. I forgot I had a cooldown on it. But yeah, I'm fucking. I'm. I'm really having a hard time with this game. <laughs> uh, but it's really, really fun so far. Like I really, really like it. It's very cute. I just, I am very bad at managing survival kind of stuff, which is what is making this a little difficult, but it's fine. But yeah, I'm very excited. We're, we're playing a Monster Hearts later and I cannot wait because I've never, I've never tried that system before and I'm really, really excited for it. And I think it's going to be an absolute fucking blast. And so I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Okay, let's head down here we need to go south we need to have the spoons to go south so let's shove some of this shit in there and go south where are you going god damn it i want to go south and then she decides to go north instead motherfucker <laughs> god damn it See, this is this is this is exactly why I keep dying. <laughs> Not because of me, because of me. Okay, let's go down this way. Maybe maybe I have to go down here more to kind of indicate that I want to go south. Okay, let's try this again. Let's give up a lot of our hull cuz fuck the hull. Come on, go south. Go south. Was that the right way? Yes, it was. Okay, thank fucking goodness. All right, let's do all this. Give me this. We're not gonna touch this because this is an asshole predator, which we found out last time that just wants to kill us, but it's fine. Oh, we got food too. <gasps> Give me the food. Can I, I, I want, I want this sweet creature. Like I just want this creature. I want, I want to be able to eat them. But alas, we cannot. Okay, so now we're done exploring. Like, we've explored all of the things in here. We've explored all of the things in here. All right, so let's add some of our energy back. Let's look around this area a little more. Is there anything we can steal? Like, is there anything we can pick up over here? Also, look at that little gelatinous creature. It's just like, like it's like vibing. And I love it. Okay, we're going to get this thing. We are not going to touch that. Actually, no, what would happen if we touched that and then let it attack this creature? I'm so curious. All right, actually, hold, let's do the wave thing. Hold on. We have a special wave function. Let's do that. As I understand it, this module enables me to slam down underwater with great force, creating a large wave that pushes back objects. Probably the only way we can move things around here. Well, yeah, please do it. Like, I, I that, that, that was my... That was my hope. Oh! Why did that scare me so badly? <laughs> and 
at any time and we'll get on fine. Our swamp is a perfect place. Hug your rooter on our class, remember to wipe, wipe that, that ass. ass. <laughs> our swamp is a perfect Hello! Oh my gosh, how are you lot, Lilith? How the frickity frack are y'all? Hello, hello. Thank you for the resub, Ellie. I appreciate you. Hi, welcome in. For folks who don't know me, hello, I'm Tofi. I am an asexual, non-binary um, Chinese creator who streams primarily a bunch of variety games. <laughs> we enjoy Chaos, Buff Tato, and Rick Astley up in here. How are y'all doing? How was stream? How are y'all doing? Welcome in Cozy Days of Rhea, as well as Sulky. How are you too? And Ellie and Pisces Cat and Two Gays One Twitch. <gasps> how are y'all doing as well? I lurked on your stream the other day too, and it was lovely. Thank you for all the warm welcomes. How are y'all doing? How was stream? How is everything? And hello, Why hello. <laughs> are you following me? Thank you for the follow. Thank you so Why much. Oh, are you following thank me? you so so much for the follow as well. I appreciate y'all so much. And right, okay, yo, Lilith's emotes are really fucking adorable. Like, they are so good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The favorite one, hold on. Fa favorite one, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I don't I can't remember who the fuck made this one, but that one is one of my favorites because it's so fucking funny. Like, it is so funny and it makes me very happy inside. <laughs> like, it's so good. And hello, Torino. How are you doing as well? Thank you for the following. Cadence C2. I'm so sorry if I said that wrong. Please feel free to. Ah! Oh, I'm such a perfect land. Here we have some rules. Let me Blood pants. Don't be rude at any time. Pants. And we'll get along some ketchup. Like a ghost. Wipe your ass. <laughs> Our swampies, our swampies, our swampies, a perfect place. Hi, oh my god, blood pants too. Hi, how the absolute heck are you? I love that double raid. Hello. Hi, hi, for folks who don't know me from Bloodstream as well. Hello, I am Tofi. I am an asexual, non-binary Chinese creator who does a lot of variety streaming. We love Rick Astley, Butts, and Shrek. And I don't, I, I think that's what I said last time. <laughs> Welcome in. How are you, CC the Gummy, and hopefully Krizzy, right? Thank y'all so much. And also, Why Blood Pants, how are, are you doing, you too? Me? Thank you for the follow. For folks who don't know Lilis, you heckin' should, because Lilis is absolutely freaking phenomenal. Please go check them out. And also, Blunt Pants is freaking phenomenal, okay? Hold on, Blunt, Blunt Pants. Let me make sure I do Blunt Pants as well. <laughs> How are you doing as well? How are both of your streams? What are y'all doing? And I'm so glad that you liked that raid video. One of my friends, um, one of my really best friends, they did the like the backing vocals on it. And I was like, the whole channel is swamp themed. We need to have the welcome to do lock. What a perfect land song. And so I'm glad that you like it because we rewrote it and made it into a, into a song. <laughs> and it makes me very happy inside. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing well. We're playing Aquamarine today um, as part of the Bay 2022, and I'm very, very excited. How was stream? I'm cracking up. I've been talking to you in my own chat. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That is fucking hilarious, and I'm so sorry. But you know what? You were streaming early this morning, okay? The coffee might not have kicked in fully. We do not judge in the swamp. We do not judge in the swamp. And hold on, CC the gummy. We have the same follower alert. Is your channel also Shrek themed? Is your channel also Shrek themed? Or do you just have that follower? Because I'm curious. I'm curious. I fucking love that though. That's hilarious. <laughs> like that's really fucking funny. Oh my god. Oh my god. But yeah, what were y'all playing today? How's your days been? And also make to make sure that I say this. Please, 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 anyone that popped in with the raids, please do not feel bad if you've got to pop out. Please do not feel bad if you've got to lurk. I know you're probably busy, you probably need to relax a little bit, you probably need to de-stress after stream and things like that. Please do not feel bad if you got a pop to a lurk or anything like that. Please take care of yourselves. But doing some Horizon, ooh, I've heard really good things for that game. I have heard really, really good things, and I'm gonna have to go catch that on. So I've heard good things. Hell yeah, and it's been a ride so far. Oh, I love that. That's so exciting. And thank you for doing the Bay um, Command, Umi. Yeah, the big adventuring event has been so much fun. Um, and there's been a lot of really beautiful games that have been showcased. We've played a lot of demos this week, and it's just been really, really fun. And so we're playing Aquamarine today. That does have a couple of trigger warnings, since it's all about, like, deep sea exploration. But yeah, and of course, I love you too. Thank you for the warm welcome. Of course. Fuck yes, of course. You're one of my favorite fucking people. And it just makes me so happy. And I just appreciate y'all feeling like you could trust me with your heckin' communities, even though we're cursed in the song. <laughs> even though we're cursed up in here, and I appreciate y'all. <laughs> 
And Susie the Gummy, they go, hold on. They go, no, I wish. I just thought Shrek was saying, why are you following me? It was hilarious. It is. Like, isn't it the best fucking thing? Like, all of my alerts are, are Shrek themed. And it makes me really, really happy. And even my, um, even my transition scene, we're going to do it just so you can see it. Hold on. <laughs> it's it's literally Shrek and I love them. Okay, that is our transition theme too. It's it's just really good and it makes me very happy inside. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. All the money made here, just to make sure I say it too, all the money made on my channel um, goes to trans and POC organizations, mutual aid fundraisers, um, things like that. And so it, thank you so much. It means a lot. We've been sending money Why off to lovely folks these last couple of weeks. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> all right, thank you for Shrek. And thank you for the follow. Welcome in, hopefully, Chris. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Wrong one, wrong one. That's not, that's not Shrek. Oh, my dearest blunt pans. You absolutely wonderful ogre, you. You're not a swamp leader. Trust in Shrunk. Love Shrunk. You're the best swamp leader that you can be. For the four minutes and 20 seconds you have, your love for Shrek should never be ogre. It should never falter. It should live on forever. Thank you for your dedication to the swamp. And the previous swamp leader was Amber's away, but Blunt Pants has taken over. Oh, hail. Thank you for your dedication, Blunt Pants. I appreciate you so much. <laughs> Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. I hope y'all are doing well. I'm really excited. We've been playing Aquamarine today, which has been such a fun and also really stressful game because we've already died three times in the last like half hour. But it's fine. We're not worried. We're not worried. We're very worried, but it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> what is happening? Is me being down here, like, slowly putting away my, my, my life force? I don't know what's happening in this game. Everything's okay. <laughs> oh, God. Holy shit. And I appreciate you. No, you, blood pants. No, you. No, you. But yeah, I just appreciate y'all so much. What the fuck is happening? Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah! What? Oh my god. Wipe that ass. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, Cookie TPC. Oh my gosh. How the absolute heck are you? Oh my gosh. It's a delicious way to rebut cookies. I fucking love that. Oh my gosh. Hi, Cookie TPC. Hi, Valvin. Valvin, excuse me. Welcome in. For folks who don't know me, hello, I'm Tofi. I am an asexual, um, non binary. Why uh, are you following me? <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome in, Flopsiful. A uh, Chinese creator who streams primarily um, just variety games, pretty much variety games. We, we, just, we just really like Shrek. How are you? How are y'all doing? Welcome, welcome in. <laughs> thank you for the, thank you for the raid. I appreciate y'all. Welcome in. What were you playing? How are you doing? <laughs> Why are you following me? <laughs> thank you for the follow. Hold on, is that a Shrek emote? Holy shit. I love that. Our next emote, whenever, whenever I'm allowed to have follower emotes because I got um, rejected after, um, after trying to put a cat butt emote in, they yelled at me. TOS yelled at me. And so I can't have follower emotes yet. But soon, we're going to have a follower emote of this this Shrek, Shrek fee. We're going to have Shrek fee <laughs> in the Chaos Elmo like emote. And so that's going to happen for us eventually. And so I'm very excited. I'm so freaking excited. Welcome in. I appreciate y'all so much. What the heck were you playing? Thought we'd come here because I'll be playing Aquamarine tomorrow afternoon. Oh, I'm so excited. It's been really pretty so far. Like, oh. After four days of looking for her crashed ship, the Seeker starved and died. What? <gasps> I didn't realize. <laughs> I didn't realize that we had to pause the game. Otherwise, our hunger would continue to go down. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Can we get some fucks in the chat, please? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we've learned our lesson. So we've died four times in the past, um... In the past, like, 40 minutes now. I, I would say around 40 minutes. <laughs> right? They they took them away for Katie Booties. Two gay, one twit. Yeah. So if y'all don't know, for any of you Twitch trainers, if y'all don't know, you only qualify for follower emotes if you have the ability to instant upload emotes. And you're not allowed to instant upload emotes if one of your emotes has been denied in the last 60 days. I think it's 60 days. And because of that, because I tried to upload a cat booty emote, which many people have, I even daintily put some underwear over the cat booty to make it TOS safe. They still yelled at me. They did not like it. Because of that, I'm not going to have follower emotes for 60 days, which is really rude, actually, which is really fucking rude. <laughs> and so, yeah, for any of you, any of you uh, streamers who don't know that, yeah, so if you if you don't have follower emotes yet, that might be why. <laughs> so it's just very fucking rude. But yeah, Cookie TPC, I love this game so far. It's so beautiful. It's so fantastic. Um, it's been really, really fun. The music's beautiful. The artwork is beautiful. And I'm just really bad at survival games, if you can't tell from the deaths already. But it's been a lot of fun so far. But I'm so excited to see you play it tomorrow, too. Oh, my gosh. And we're trying. I'm very excited for it, Blood Pants, okay? I'm very excited for it. Yeah. But, like, yeah. We died. It's fine. It's fine. We got three raids in a row back to back, which was really sweet. And that never happens. So that was so fun. And so it's okay. I should have paused. I should have paused. Like, literally, there's a button for me to pause the game. And I didn't. So that was my fault everything's cool right isn't it so rude okay hold on also let me you know what i feel like i feel like i feel like since we're talking about the booties i feel like i need to pull them up because i do this every single time i'm not gonna lie every single time we talk about the cat butts i pull them up because i like to show people them because they're not that bad they're not that bad have a lovely self-care post stream i appreciate you blood pants and let me make sure i actually make uh do another shout out for um for cookie tpc because i know that the bot that i've got automatically it does it but i want to make sure that it actually went through um recently but hell yeah i appreciate you so much and right isn't the fucking rudest they yeah they denied the cat booty and the thing is there are so Why many cat booties following me thank you so much for the follow welcome in alex forest but like they denied the cat booty and they shouldn't have because it's not that bad. So hold, let's go screen share because y'all deserve to see them because since we cannot get them passed, y'all at least deserve to see how beautifully detailed these are. And so trigger warning for cat booties. <laughs> because it's not that bad, okay? Like we detailed the booty and I, I just, I need y'all to see it. Like I literally need y'all to see this shit. <laughs> Of course, of course, hell yeah. Like I wanna, like I, I love making sure that I shout out folks. Like it's just so nice, it's so great. And I just appreciate you like feeling safe enough to bring your community in here. Like that means a lot, but like, look at this. Okay, I made a couple different versions. I do wanna flag that. I made a couple different versions because there are some that I can obviously tell why they didn't go through. This is one of them. I can understand why this one didn't go through. Like, I can understand because like, I mean, it's it's obvious, I think. I'm gonna get taken down off of Twitch just because of this. Like, I think this is obvious, you know? Like, I, I, I was gonna be really surprised if they actually let this one through. Like, I'm so sorry. Hi, welcome in, Shiny. <laughs> I mean, can you expect much else from this stream, Shiny? Let's be quite honest. So we did that one and I was like, okay, let's try that one. And so they said no to that. And I was like, okay, what if we do an asterisk? Like it's not detailed or anything, like, right? Like it's not detailed. Also, the, the, the difference between me talking about cat buttholes and having this beautiful aquamarine music in the background is really just, I think it's great. But then there's this one. I think it's not that bad. We did a little asterisk, not detailed at all. Absolutely gorgeous. They screamed at this one too. They were not happy. Like they were not happy with this one. And so the next thing we did was put a star pasty, right? Because that's obviously like not bad. Like, you know, it, it, there's a pasty over it. Like there's a star over it. Like, it, 
I don't know, but they still were very, very, very angry about this one. And so we couldn't do this one either. And so our last ditch effort was to put underwear over the booty, right? Because if we put underwear over the booty hole, then they can't be mad because something's covering it up, right? Same ideology of people just literally having panty emotes, people literally having cat butt emotes. Like there are so many cat butt emotes that I've seen, so many cat butt emotes that have passed through, which good for them. Let's be honest, like good for them. I'm glad when people could get them passed through because they are so strict with some people. But like <laughs> this one as well also just said no. And so we put some underwear over the last one because what's the difference between like underwear and shorts? You know, thank you. Like, look at that. Like that's a, actually, I love that one. That's a good butt. <laughs> like that's a good butt. <laughs> thank you for posting that one. <laughs> and I'm enjoying this educational slideshow. Thank you. See, like, I think it was great. Like I, I feel like it really gets a sense for what we're about here in the swamp. And so our last one, like, look how freaking cute this is. Like, they, like, how are you going to reject this one? They rejected it. They were not happy. They were not happy with the underwear cat. You can't even see anything. It's a, it's a, it's a pink thong. Like, it's a pink thong with beautiful yellow flowers. And they, again, were not happy with that. They were really fucking mad, actually. <laughs> Like, it got rejected within, like, 20 minutes of me trying to put it on. Like, it, like within 20 minutes of me trying to upload it, they were like, no! <laughs> but, like, what's the difference between this and other booty emotes? At least it's, like, covered. Oh, my God, that booty one is hilarious, too. Hold on. <laughs> I just fucking love that. Okay, a diaper is a good idea. A diaper, okay, thank you, a butt. A butt purr. Thank you, butt spot. I love you very much. But like, look at this. Uh, oh, and maybe a bikini style instead of a thong, right? Like that's my next idea is maybe putting like shorts over it instead. That way, like it's butts, but not like too intense of butts, right? And so that's my next idea. I just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait out the 60 days so I can get my follower emotes and upload follower emotes, and then I'm going to attempt to upload another cat butt emote. <laughs> that way, I at least have all the follower emotes, because I don't know how many days it's been since I'm, like, not allowed to have. Like, I don't know how many days it's been since I've attempted to upload it, and so I don't know how close I am to that 60-day limit, right? And so I'm, I'm hoping that... After I upload and get my follower emotes, I can attempt another booty emote with some bigger panties on, maybe some granny panties or like a speedo. Exactly. Right. Like there are so many, there are so many emotes that have butts with speedos and shit like that. So I'm like, is it, is it because it's an animal? Like, is it because, is it because you don't want the cat to have a thong on? Because like, okay, fair maybe, but like at the same time, we worked really hard on this emote. Like, I literally was sitting in a Discord call with a couple of community members, a couple of our pals, literally, like, zoomed in detailing this cat, detailing the booty hole, detailing everything with them as we were crying, laughing. And I just, you know, makes my heart so sad. But one of these days, we'll let it through. One of these days, it'll come through, I hope. <laughs> we're crossing our fucking fingers, at least, because I think it's hilarious, and I want it to go through. I want it to go through. Did your farts not happen? I did not hear your farts. Hold on. Let me let me play some farts for you, my friend. Because the farts didn't come through on my end, at least. Hold on, where's my fart? Where am I where 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 is my fart? There you go. Is this gonna make it into your toot toot remix? The Shiny's gonna make a farting song. That's all I'm going to say about that. Shiny is going to make a farting song sometime soon, and that's going to go into his thing. <laughs> and right, sounds like a fart that happens right before you poo. Right, it's just like, we're preparing the butthole. We're preparing the butthole for the things that are going to come out of the booty. <laughs> that sounds so bad. I take that back. It's, just, it's fine. Everything's fine. But yeah, we're going to try because I want this to happen. Oh, God. That butt was wild. That booty was wild. Butt spot is lovely. <laughs> you, 
gotta prepare the butthole for a lot of different things, okay? It's fine, it's fine. Let's go back to gameplay. I'm so sorry, but yeah, there was our there was our cat butt legacy. So one of these days, one of these days we'll have one. Thank you, right? Like finally not a Tofi quote. I feel like we've got so many, so many fun quotes in there. <laughs> Aquamarine is best played without distractions. <laughs> Promptly got distracted. It's fine, it's fine, but it's so funny, right? Okay, hold on, Ben Fowler too, right? We've got so many. I feel like we have over, we, I think we've got close to 300 quotes by now, which is absolutely wild to me. And so I just, it makes me so happy. My story Ooh. began long ago. Also, Tofu came to say hi. Of the known galaxy. I was the newly appointed <laughs> seeker sent to find another path for our survival. <laughs> But what I'm I so stressed. We're gonna die again. Challenged my own will to survive. My story began long ago, on a planet lost to time. All right. On a planet that changed me. God, forever. this art is so beautiful. Like the on hair is so I good. Call Aquamarine. I do wish they put captions on this, though. Is there- hold on, is there an option to add subtitles? We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Okay, looks like not. Dang. I love that you called it. Did you get that same exact quote that Val just got? <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Alright, hold on, let's jump back into this, y'all. This game is called Aquamarine. It just released a couple of days ago. Um, and it's been really, really fun. It's a lovely one. Uh, it's a lovely game that's all about survival, exploring the deep sea, and really just trying to make it back home. And it is our first time playing it on, uh, it's, it's our first time playing it. Uh, we did very badly. <laughs> we did very poorly a second ago, which is fine. It's okay. <laughs> but we're gonna try to do better this time. Okay, hold on. This music level went back up, too. And I know that it was really, really, really loud in my brain a second ago. There we go. And butt in the cup. Butt in the cup. We love it. We love it. But there are some trigger warnings for that. Um, so please, 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 um, if any of those are things that you're not super comfy with, um, so screen shaking sometimes, some flashing or bright lights, psychedelia, deep sea creatures and exploration, and then light fantasy or violence and survival. Please do not feel bad um, about having to pop off because those are all super, super tr like big triggers. And I want to make sure that you all are comfortable and safe. And thank you. I think Mix It Up Bot is like, might just be having a bad time right now. I, <laughs> I feel like Mix It Up Bot might just be kind of shitting itself, which is, it's fine. It's fine. Oh my God. Hold on. What? Dex, 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 dex. Did we just encounter a bug in the game? Text, 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 text. Because last, last time, like the last start of the game, it did not have this. We're having a fun time. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> text, 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 text. <laughs> I came back to say you didn't really do bad. You just let your character perish from lack of food. You know what? That's fair. I, I appreciate that. But I could also argue that letting my character perish from lack of food is also really bad. <laughs> but I appreciate you. Right? Okay, there have been three updates already. So folks might have been, um, you know, folks folks might have been having issues um, and reporting bugs. So maybe we're, we're just going to see what happens. Um, Hello? Oh no. We broke the game. We, we we spent 20 minutes talking about cat buttholes, and so the game was like, no, fuck you, Tofi. <laughs> fuck you in the swap. Okay, let's quit the game and reopen it and see if that fixes the issue. Cause that is fucking hilarious. I'm so sorry. That is so funny. <laughs> We're trying our best. You know, it's been a long panini, okay? We're all doing the best we heckin' can. <laughs> Even the games. <laughs> okay, let's restart as well. Hold on, yeah, we're gonna restart. We didn't do anything, just in case that broke the game. Okay, so... 
I need to find a way to reach the crash somehow. So is diving gonna work this time? We're gonna hope? This is so funny. It was, it's been really, really fun though. The art style and the music of this game is absolutely glorious. Yes, okay. I think we're good. We're at least underwater this time. And so there's a plus. Oh, thank God, okay. Whoo! <laughs> I was like, is it gonna say text? Greetings, Seeker. I'm your survival class amphibious pod. I'm here to help you stay alive, as long as that's all right with you. To get started, I'll show you how to use my controls. On the terrain, you'll see icons indicating where we can travel. Select one to add it to my navigation path. Select the same icon again to move us to that space. All right, we're gonna skip through a lot of this tutorial stuff because we already know how to play. And so what we're pretty much trying to do is we're trying to explore the sea, but we have to collect all of these little items for fuel reserves, because if we run out of fuel, the barrier around our pod cracks and we die, <laughs> which is always a fun time. And so we need to both collect fuel, make sure that we don't get attacked by sea creatures, collect food to make sure that we don't perish, and just make sure that we start uh, finding items to garden and things like that. And so that, that is pretty much the premise of this game, is just trying to, trying to figure out a way to get home while making sure that we uh, survive. <laughs> and it's been really, really fun. It's just very difficult because I'm a ding dong who doesn't pay attention to my resources. Okay, let's, let's skip through this stuff and we're just gonna start exploring. And so the main thing I need to remember to do is I need to freaking like pay attention. I need to pay attention to the fuel levels. And we're gonna grab all these gems. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want these gems first. I'll, I'll do that in a second. Damn it, it's not gonna let me get these gems, are they? And we can travel to different locations on the map. And so you gotta collect all these gems to then have the energy to travel to other like areas under sea, which gives you um, the ability to find more plant life that you can start growing and harvesting and things like that. So let's get this um, and let's, I know there's a floppy disk under here. So let's give us some more fuel and pop down this way. Also, I really also fucking love all the little sea creatures and animals. Like, it's very, very cute. There's a lot of, like, platypus-looking creatures, and it makes me really, really happy. On my center panel, check the top left switch. If the indicator light is on, press the switch to shift us up to the surface. If the light is off, something's in our way and we can't shift there. And so we're gonna grab this floppy disk, please and thank you, because I want the disk. Oh shit, hold on. Here? Oh god, we're gonna fucking die, aren't we? Give us, give us the fuel, please. Please give us the fuel. Well done. Now that we have the disc, we need to analyze it to see what it contains. Sadly, I can't run analyses while my engine's on. Let's head back to the island. Press the bottom switch on the control panel to access my autopilot map. Then select the info bubble to send us home. If there isn't enough energy, we'll need to collect more gems first. All right. Um, do we have for five energy? We've got five energy, I think. Thank goodness. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so now we've got... Oh, shit. As the Seeker surveyed her meager stock, letting out a sigh of disappointment, something on the water's edge glimmered in the corner of her eye. Could it be an alien seashell? Or maybe some sort of dangerous plant? Deadly to the touch? No way to know what the strange ocean may wash ashore. Was it worth finding out? What we have decided is unless it specifically sounds super dangerous, we're gonna always approach the thing. <laughs> we're always gonna approach the thing because uh, otherwise we're gonna die quicker. Amazing. Sitting there in the rocky sand, wet and covered in unknown goo, was a sizable chunk of gem from out of the shallows. How did it make it this far to the island was a mystery, but the seeker wasn't about to question good fortune. She dropped it into the pod's energy converter, and in no time she was up to 47 energy resources. Maybe surviving on the strange planet wouldn't be impossible after all. Because chaos, exactly. Right, I feel like even if we find stuff that like does look a little, um, does look a little stressful, we may still, we may still approach it. Just because, you know what? <laughs> YOLO, as the children say. <laughs> Do they still say that? 
<laughs> YOLO? <laughs> the disc contains plans for a unique pod module. It takes 20 energy to craft. So that was probably why they gave us all that energy a second ago. Now I just have to load my new module into the pod. And so it pushes back all objects surrounding the pod and uses 25% power. All right, I'll take it. Uh, let's go back to the map and let's go diving again. And Riot Zeri says, if there's something to approach in a game, one should always approach it. Exactly. Thank you. Always approach the thing and take it. <laughs> Like, if you, like, the thing is, if you are on a freaking alien island, right? Like, if you are on an alien island, unsure if you're ever gonna fucking make it home, you know, you've got a better chance at survival if you just go up and look at the things. Right? Like, it's better if you explore, right? Because otherwise, what are you gonna do? Like, sit there and wait to perish? No, just take it. <laughs> no one else is using it. With a mod installed, some of the gems you collect will power my new abilities. Press the bottom right switch on my control panel to access the installed upgrades. Since we have some charges, let's use my wave ability on the gem cluster. It looks like it could shatter at any moment, so a big water push should definitely break it into pieces. You know what happened? Last time, we ran out of energy so much because I skipped past this dialogue and didn't realize that we could do that on the gem to get more energy. It's fine, everything's fine. I recently broke out of the map underwater in a game with a breath meter to find a giant sea monster, though so I may not be the, be the best source of survival advice. Okay, I've, I love that though. Good for you, I'm here for it. <laughs> you know what? It's fine, it was great, you had a fun time. And it's okay, because you, you, you realized that that wasn't smart and you won't do it next time. I just love that. I think that's very fucking funny. I'm so sorry. Yes. All right. This is going to make so much, like, life so- Oh my god, hold on. What the fuck? Why did it create tornadoes? Masterfully executed. Not a bad way to collect energy, right? Okay, now press the center switch to go back to the main controls. I want to show you something else. Have you noticed the ocean moving objects in its current? If the pod stays put, the water might push a gem right to us. Press the bottom left switch to end my movement cycle and see where they go. That's what that does. <laughs> you know, every, like, I am very bad at reading dialogue and retaining information, right? And so the fact that I tend to skip past <laughs> important dialogue oh, such as this. <laughs> I'm making waffles. And you shouldn't trust me with this kind of game. <laughs> Keep her the host. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I need to pay more attention to dialogue. That's, that's, that's my... That's what I need to do. I am such a ding dong. Holy shit. And I absolutely will still have managed to get a good screenshot with it. 100% will die for a good screenshot in games. Absolutely same. Yep. Like, because you can restart the game anyway, right? Like, you'll go back to your last save point. So, like, get a good screenshot. Post it everywhere. Show your friends. Laugh at it. Do it for the vibes. <laughs> Pretty neat, right? And using the break also gives us an extra move. Nature is full of tricks we can use to our advantage, so always try to keep an eye on your surroundings. Well, that would have been good to know earlier, but I fucked that up and didn't pay attention, which is why I died. It's fine. I hope that my health isn't going down, right? Exactly, do it for the content. Exactly, I love that for you. Oh god, so now that we expanded our map, we can travel directly to any discovered area. When you're ready, press the bottom switch, select a location on the map, then activate my autopilot. All right, we're gonna grab... I am too afraid to touch the whirlpool. Like, I really want to, but I'm scared, you know? Oh, it's gone. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> get this, let's, 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 give, me, give me this, get, go down here. <laughs> okay, self-care checkpoint, y'all. Hold on, let me sit up. Let me stretch, y'all. If you haven't stretched in a spicy second, if you haven't gotten a good old snack in a spicy second, 
some hydration. Take your meds if you need to take meds. What time is it? I got an hour and a half, we're good. Take your meds if you need to take any of your meds. All of that good stuff, because take care of yourself. Oh goodness, my back cracked and you couldn't hear it. I remember this place. Let's keep exploring. Move us to the edge of the area in the direction you want to travel. My sensors indicate that all directions are open, so take your pick. We're gonna go left. We're gonna go this way. Ooh, give me that, give me that, give me that. I want that. Give me all these lovely things. <laughs> Give me all this energy. Okay, so let's pop off to the left and see what's down there. And see what's down here. Because my thing. Oh my god, a platypus. No doubt you're tired of me by now, but there's more I haven't shown you. Like how my thrusters work, or my inventory menu is located, there's a lot to discover. My genius engineers have designed me with the hidden functions, so poke around and experiment. Nothing could really go wrong. Besides, I could always regenerate my fuel and hull back on the island. Thank goodness, because I fuck up a lot in this game. And if you ever need suggestions for where to go, just press my compass bubble. I'll do everything in my power to help guide you home and keep you alive, okay? Okay, now I'm done. Look at this fucking creature. They are my favorite. We're going to call them Bill. <laughs> Bill just seems very fitting. Ooh. <gasps> I swear to God, if you touch me, Bill, I will cry. Okay, gimme, 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 gimme. Oh my god. I'm a little afraid that they're gonna attack me again. Because last time they attacked me. The pod's long... Oh, I almost did the, the, the robot voice. The pod's long range engine is ready to activate. Um, I don't really want to go anywhere. I want this stuff, but looks like I can't... Oh, I can click out of it. I just want this. I, wa I want this. You know? The more energy, the better for me. Um... Okay, so now let's head to the south. Let's head to the south. That seems like a good area, right? Okay, so what we need... I am so terrified as to what the hell that was. <laughs> and look at this bird. Hold on, hold on. Look at this bird. Can we just appreciate them for a second and look at their freaking, like, fur? Like, I love them. I love them. Okay, let's go back down now. <laughs> Okay, I... Oh my god, please, Bill. Do not attack me. I will cry. Okay, so we need to find items so we can grow and harvest things. The pod's long-range engine is ready to activate. Okay, we can still go south. We can still... Whoopsies. We can still go south. So let's head down here and activate it and we can go to the south i feel like we're already doing a lot better <laughs> this run than we did last run and it's probably because <laughs> wait i know how to like play the game now <laughs> some of that coral wouldn't be too difficult to break apart Ooh, okay hold on let's get these gems first whatever the heck mm -hmm. those are and then we can break that coral the pod thrusters got a charge from that gem Hell yeah. Ooh, hold on. Let's get this food for- <gasps> Bill, did you just eat that food? Oh! Well, that was really rude of you, sir. Well. That was rude as fuck. And you ate my food? And you ate my food? That's okay. We love them anyway. That was so rude. Right? The platypus is rude. Like, that was so mean. <gasps> Shit, okay, there's so many, but you know what? We're already up here. I don't want to go back and have to re-get those. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. We're gonna do our charge. And we're gonna smash. I thought it said we could break the coral apart. Did you lie to me? Did you lie to me? What coral are we supposed to break up? This one. Maybe? Hopefully? Fuck. What coral can we break apart? <laughs> they literally said, hold on. Fuck. <laughs> they literally said, you can break this coral apart. But then I tried and it didn't break apart. I'm so stressed. It's fine. Thank you, butt spot. The platabut. You know what? I'm gonna call them a platabut now. I love that name. 
Okay, you know what? Fuck everything. Hold on, let's... <laughs> oh, we want to go to the left. Okay, hold on. So, Bill, we're going to go this way. We're going to give you your space because I realized that we did intrude on you a second ago, right? Like, that was our fault. And so let's go to the left. That way. We can teleport. This way. And see what's over here. Okay, gimme, gimme, gimme. Look at all these plants. Okay. This is perfect for collecting rainwater on the island. So now we've got some gardening items. Okay, so let's get all this shit. And my stock is full. I need to make space before I pick up anything else. I didn't realize that your stock could get full. So fucking heck. Okay, so let's... Let's eat that. There we go. I will just eat that. And so let's, um, let's head back now, since we couldn't pick- You know, give me this actually first. Oh fuck, no. Stock is full. Never mind, I take it back. So we'll have to remember to come back over here. So let's go back to the island, plant some of this stuff, and then we can go exploring again. I feel like that's gonna be the best plan for us. So can I- Uh, can I, can I please plant some things? Can I please plant some things? Is that not available yet, perhaps? Is it not available yet? Oh, fuck me. Never mind. I guess we won't plant some stuff. Let's go diving again. And hopefully we'll find the items to let us garden. So let's explore... Oh god. Look at this little... Look at this little creature. They're like a platypus fish and I freaking love them, okay? Okay, so... Maybe... We need to go to the right and explore this area first. To find the items to garden. And that might be... That might be... A good decision. Maybe? Okay, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Let's just... Let's just use this energy to go that way and hope to freaking goodness <laughs> that we find what we need. Ooh. What is that? Oh shit, no, don't run away from me. I want this. Come back, come back. Hold on. What? Get back here. Ooh. Looks like that gem charged up my scanner. Hello. I've got new notes to read from that scan. Okay, okay. Look at this cute little platypus. A mostly friendly species found in the ocean shallows tends to eat most everything it can find. Well, it didn't like us because it tried to attack us. A thick and thorny bramble, endemic to the shallows, the sharp blooms of this plant recoil from strong currents. So we could probably use our, um, our wave ability over here. The pod's long-range engine is ready to activate. Uh, I don't want to do that yet, actually. Let's come over here. Let's see if this wave thing can, um... Okay, there we go. And then we can use the travel to travel through those vines now. There we go. <laughs> so hopefully back here we'll have gardening items. Because our stock is full, and that's not a good thing for us. Okay. Ooh, hello. Hello, Bill. I hope you're doing well. Oh, fucking hell. My stock is full. Um. Gosh diddly damn it. Let's drop one of these. Um... Oh god. I don't know if that was a good or a bad decision, you know? Like, I'm not entirely sure. God damn it. I'm so stressed. <laughs> we were doing so well, too. But, um... Oh god. Requires sufficient oxygen and nutrients to become edible. Okay, so we can grow 
a couple of these, but the only issue is we don't have the items to grow things. I know I can't get you. I'm just trying to find items. I love this bird. Goodness gracious. I love them so much. Okay, where the hecketh are we going, y'all? Where the absolute hecketh? <laughs> oh! oh my god. Oh shit. Oh. Thank you for that jump scare. I, Tofu is sleeping so nicely on my lap that I jumped so, like, I, I jumped so badly that he got, he got the shit scared out of him too. <laughs> also, hi Leopard, how are you doing? That scared the piss out of me. Oh, I hope you're doing well. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so funny. Thank you so much for that. And also, Leopard, how are you? Oh, thank you so much for that heckin' resub. Um, I appreciate you so much. I hope you're doing well. Oh god. Okay, so we West, I think, is where we need to go, if I'm not mistaken. Hopefully. I hope. Also, hi Gen Dragon, how are you doing? <laughs> oh fuck, I think that was the wrong way. Oh no, it wasn't. Okay. So we need to go down. That's the hope. We need to go down. Uh, that went off the same moment I resubbed that scared me, right? Like that scared the absolute piss out of me. Like that was hilarious. <laughs> That was so fucking funny. I was like, did I change my- I was like, okay, so Mix It Up Bot has had a couple of issues today. And for a second, I was like, did Mix It Up Bot play the wrong sound alert for the sub? <laughs> and so I'm really, really glad. <laughs> I'm really, really glad that that wasn't the case. It was just- it was just the sound alert. <laughs> that was really fucking funny, though. <gasps> Ooh, hello! Ooh, give me this. This motherfucker. I can't pick that up because my stock is full. You little booty head. God damn it. Hold on. Hey, wait a minute. I got a great idea. Give me this. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Yumi, for the gift sub. Ah! Oh! Alright, we're gonna drop this thing. God damn it. I didn't want to drop that, but like it had to be done. Thank you so much for the gift, Sobumi. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I can dig a garden with these tools. Yes. I'm the gingerbread man. Oh, fucking hell. Thank you so much for the biddies. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for those biddies. I appreciate you so much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank y'all. You know, Jinji got a hundred gumdrop buttons, so he's gonna have some gumdrop buttons for a really long time now. Did I eat a psychedelic shroom? Was that what just happened? Is that why everything is like, mm, like, I hate this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh! Like, yeah, literally, we are tripping fucking balls over here. And it's a little stressful. My motion sickness is a little not happy about that. <laughs> not gonna lie, it's a little not happy about that, but we're trying our best. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Oh god, I'm just really stressed about what's happening. Okay, we need to take another dive and find more, more food. Ones preferably that don't make us fucking like that. Mm-mm. Hated that for us. <laughs> Oh. Also, we're out of fuel. Fuck. Oh god. Oh no. We're going to die. Like Oh my god, this is really fucking with my motion. God diddly damn it. <laughs> Me. Uh. <laughs> well, we're going to blame it on the psychedelic mushrooms. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. The pod was pushed to its limits and cracked, only able to float back to the island. The seeker recalled something in the manual about regeneration. A quick read and she put it in motion. She then began wringing the water from her clothes. Chances of hypothermia were slim, but not impossible, and she'd be waiting on the beach for a while. Are we still tripping? I would pay good money for us to stop tripping. 
do I need to eat something else first? Ooh! Okay, hold on. Thank you so much, game. As soon as, as soon as I said that, the game was like, all right, you're done with being funky. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. Not yet ready to harvest, but I'm excited to see what that grows into. Hold the phone. Like, I like that. Okay, let's fuck off back into the ocean. And this time, not die. <laughs> Preferably. Preferably not perish, okay? And right, there's death times where I'd pay, where I would have paid money to stop tripping. You know what? Valid. Valid. <laughs> like, it's important, I think. Okay, can we... Hold on. Okay, so we need to get the energy first. Okay, so we need to go find energy crystals so that we can actually let's travel there so we can actually use our wave motion so please have some fucking things over here for us oh shit it's over here i went the wrong way i went the wrong way that was my bad please don't eat that bill bill please don't eat that we need that we need that bill you motherfucker bill ate it all right that's fine <laughs> bill you're really harming us here friend you're really, you're really doing a lot here. Okay, um... You know what? Let's go this way, y'all. Let's head this way. I know there were a couple of things that we couldn't pick up because our stock was too full. And so let's just collect some of these items. And maybe... What the fuck? Oh! Excuse me, Jerry. You fucking twat. Excuse the fuck? Oh my god. Alright, we're running away. What? Uh-uh. I fucking hate it here. <laughs> Get me out of here. I no longer be in the ocean. Mom, can you come pick me up, please? Oh my god. Uh, okay, hold on. Elizabeth Hem. Travel to the island. I'm done with that. <laughs> what was that? What? What the fuck is happening? Stepping from her pod to the wet sand, the seeker stops. Her eyes are open, but she doesn't see her camp or the ocean. Only a light, bright, oh, excuse me, only a light, brilliant and all-encompassing. The light grows and brightens, surrounds and permeates. A silhouette of something, or is someone, moves within the glow. The seeker cannot make the shape, let alone decipher what it wants. We're gonna remain because I want to know who the fuck this is or what this is, right? Like, I'm stressed. That creature was a lot. <laughs> the fact that they camouflaged, uncamouflaged, and, like, rammed into us was just really rude. <laughs> and I am very scared to go back in that area now. <laughs> Fear won't get me anywhere, she thinks to herself. The Seeker watches the figure intently. It grows in size and detail until it resembles a human face, Framed by a halo of light. It appears kind and wise, colored by hope and uncertainty. The face smiles as it locks eyes with the seeker, and as the light of the fading vision begins to dim, it speaks. Welcome, young one. Now rise. I am so stressed. What the fuck is happening? What the? Was that a dream, a memory, or something else? I don't know, babes, but I fucking hated that. <laughs> But I thought that was awful. Oh, God. Okay. So all of these look good. We don't really need to, um... I don't, I don't think any of them are ready to harvest. They don't look ready to harvest. So let's head back to the beach and let's... Let's dive again. <laughs> Except we're gonna go to the left instead of to the right this time. Because that was really fucking rude and I hate that creature. We're gonna call them... I don't even know. Jennifer? We'll call them Jennifer. <laughs> Just, I'm so stressed, I'm not even gonna lie. <sighs> okay. We are gonna die soon is the issue. Like, we... God damn it, we desperately need more... Um... More energy. Hi, Bill, I hope you're doing well, friend. We need more energy. Oh! <gasps> 
Are you following me? It's over here. Oh my god, I hate it here. Okay. God damn it, I have it. Oh. This is gonna be really bad, y'all. There are no energy crystals over here. Like, none at all. I don't know if we're gonna make it out of here. Like, unless we find some energy. Like, we're, we're pretty much screwed. Bill, can you please attack this? Fucking hell. I don't know what to do. Like, we're, we're, mm, we're not gonna make it. We're gonna travel back to the island. We've got zero energy left. But all, but the three locations we looked in did not have any energy crystals. And because we don't have energy crystals, we can't use our wave move to get more energy crystals. So that's an issue. Another flash of light, another paralyzing trance. Now what? To her surprise, the seeker immediately sees the kind, wizened face. Quickly and clearly, it speaks to her from the glow. Young one, tell me what you remember. Have you been able to dream? We'll do dreams. You know what? We'll do dreams. Sleep had been difficult since the Seeker was stranded on this, on this planet. I almost said island. The days were windy, the nights were cold. Surviving on an island in an endless alien ocean just wasn't restful. So how and when was she supposed to be dreaming? And why? Before she can say her thoughts out loud, the vision speaks. Build your camp and find your sleep. You must learn to dream. I am trying to survive. <laughs> I understand that dreaming is lovely and it sounds great. But I am having difficulty even surviving at this point. You know? You know? Okay, so we can't harvest any of these yet. <laughs> We're absolutely fucked. Like, literally, we got, we've got we got one energy. Like, we have one energy in our pool. And, god, we're, we're gonna die. We're, we're about to die. I can just feel it in my butthole. God damn it. Like. <laughs> like, there was, there was literally nothing we could have done there. Like. They, they didn't want to throw us a bone at all. They did not want to throw us a bone uh. at all. Okay, let's go back to the garden. See if anything's there. All right, nope, so we're gonna go back to the beach. Motherfucker. I wish, like I understand that it's a survival game and all that jazz. It'd be nice to have a little more energy. Because now we start off with 40, which is fantastic. Let's head off. You know, let's head off to this direction. Oh, shit. I traveled back to the island by accident. We're not going to perceive that that happened. We're going to go back and check the garden. <gasps> Can I harvest? God dang it. Not yet. Can I harvest this one? All right, let's go back to the beach. And this time we're going to pay attention before we click yes. Because I want to go to the bottom left there. And not back to the island. <laughs> I'm such a ding-dong. We're trying our best, y'all. My coffee hasn't kicked in. <laughs> That's what I'm going to blame it on. Also, again, I freaking love that platypus. Okay, so we want to go down there. Because I don't know how much we've actually explored down there. And so let's go down here. See what kind of content we can grab. Ooh. I love, I love them. Look how freaking cute they are. Like, what a sweetie. Okay, so. The one thing I really wish. There we go, give me this. All I want. Okay, so now we can do the wave thing. So let's head down here. And do the wave function. And get some more. Energy. And get some more gosh diddly di Disappointment. The mod didn't break the cluster at all. Can we get some fucks in chat? I was so excited. I was like, we're gonna get this energy. I 
and then we didn't. That was really rude of the game, actually. I'm gonna blame it on them. All right, let's go this way. That was really, really funny. That was really sad, but really, really funny. I just... Can, can we have energy, please? Like, oh, why does this thing keep appearing? Oh my God. I swear if this thing comes at me- <gasps> Bill? Bill! Bill. Bill, my love. My soul. They hurt us. They hurt us. And we're like, yeah, they need fucking help. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bill. I love you so much. Okay. Oh my fucking god. They killed Bill. They killed Bill! I'm a cry. I fucking hate this thing. I am so terrified and hate that thing. Just like in the movie, right? There's a couple of those, I think, right? <laughs> Is this actually going to break apart the coral this time? Is it? Motherfucker. It keeps saying that this coral will be easy to break apart. But then it doesn't break apart, and so I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong? Or like, if if the coral isn't supposed to break apart over here? Like, am I just not strong enough yet, you know? Because the fact that it keeps telling me, like it- <gasps> This little piece of shit. No. You know what? No! You! You get fucked! Yeah! <laughs> Hi, Moby! <laughs> to the end of the night. Hello, welcome, Ark. How are you doing today? Welcome in. I am so stressed. I am so fucking sorry. This creature that keeps attacking us really has- is just stressing me the fuck out. <laughs> boop, trophy. Boop. I'll boop you. Boop. Thank you for the boops. <laughs> How are you doing? I hope you're having a lovely heckin' weekend so far. Oh god, I am just very stressed about what's happening. Um... You know, like, obviously I cannot break through the coral because I keep trying and it keeps not allowing me. And so, like, I don't know if I'm fucking up somewhere or if, like, we need a different mod. Oh my god! Thank you so much for the gift sub, Umi. I appreciate that. Oh my goodness. Enjoy those Shrexy emotes, my friend. <gasps> what are you? Sorry, there was a cute little bird and I got really distracted. Thank you so much, Umi. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoy those heckin' emotes, Moby. I hope you appreciate those emotes. Thank you so much. Umi, yes. <laughs> Something smelled different, sweet almost, but somehow more pleasant. The seeker glanced past her garden plot to see a large plant that had seemingly appeared out of thin air. Its top half was shaped like a giant blooming flower, while its bottom had the qualities of an old knotty tree trunk. It wasn't here last time she was in the garden. This demanded further inspection. Are we gonna look or touch, y'all? I say fuck it and say touch. But like, I'm a little afraid that it's automatically just gonna kill us. <laughs> but I'm gonna say touch. Like, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna touch this damn thing. With her glove removed and her hand outstretched, the seeker approached the anomalous plant. No way something so beautiful could be harmful. I mean, that's wrong, but like, oh, sure, sure. She felt the plant's petal on her skin, thick and silken. The sensation was if, as if it were covered in a thin blanket of dew, yet there was no moisture. It practically hummed with energy, and then in an instant, the feeling was gone. Suddenly, the plant appeared more ordinary, sunk into the scenery. The seeker had never felt so good. Uh. Okay, I'm really stressed as to what the fuck just happened there. Because, like, ha hmm, that's gonna affect us, right? Like, that is obviously going to affect us. And I'm not sure if that's gonna affect us in a positive or negative way, you know? All right, let's fertilize that. Let's also water this one because it's super, super close to being um, ready. Ooh, 
that's a nice little fertilizer. Hold on. And then we're going to save the last of this green fertilizer for this one. Because this specific one said that it needed... That it, like, needed a lot of, um... Uh, blah, 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 blahs. A lot of fertilizer. Also, I love this bird. They're so cute. And yeah, we put... Okay, so our quote-unquote animated <laughs> emotes, because we've animated emotes, um, our quote-unquote animated emotes are those hearts, because I pretty much just saved them as a gif of them just being stagnant like that. Because we need more fucking pride emotes up in here, right? Like, we need more heckin' pride emotes. So yeah, enjoy your gay hearts. <laughs> I just, I don't know, I really like them. I think they're very cute, but that's just because obviously I made them, but like... <laughs> I think they're cute, and I'm just, I just am glad that y'all have them. It makes me very happy, so just thank y'all. <laughs> right, like, for the, okay, so whenever we do get follower emotes, I've been like trying to figure out which emotes to, um, like, which emotes to keep as... Um, oh, thank goodness for this fucking energy. Oh my gosh, that was really lucky. I've been trying to figure out if I wanted to, like, which emotes I should move where. So which ones should be in the tiered subs, which ones should be follower emotes, which ones should be, um, like, animated emotes and things like that. And I'm having a really difficult time because I think I think I probably will keep all of those pride hearts in the subbed emotes section. Because I want folks to be able to use them other way, like, other places because they're sometimes just aren't a lot of um like prod emotes that folks have and so i think i'm gonna end up keeping them there but i don't really know what to do for follower emotes yet <laughs> besides chaos shrek chaos shrek is obviously going to be there <laughs> and i'm probably gonna have some sort of toe emote too i feel like that'd be really funny uh, we're, we're thinking of things we're thinking of things <laughs> And well, now I'm gaying up every stream. Thank you very much. Fuck yes. I'm so happy. <laughs> and I'm really, really hopeful that this year... Not this motherfucker again. This is my least favorite creature. Why do they keep wanting to attack us? What did we do to it? Like, what did we do to it? We literally are trying our best here. And it's just like, mm, I want to smash... Okay, that sounds bad. I don't want it to smash us. Okay. Is this one weak enough for us to, um, to do this wave attack on? Hopefully. Fucking hopefully. <laughs> oh, God. But I'm hoping that this year, um, Twitch will actually give us some pride emotes. Because last year they did. In previous years they have. And so I'm hope- or last year they didn't, excuse me. But in previous years they had. And so I'm really, really hopeful that they'll give us, um, pride emotes, um this upcoming year that way we have more to spread around you know so hell yeah have a great lurk i appreciate you moby <laughs> and so oh my god for some re oh for for a spicy second i thought that was gonna be that invisible creature again and i was like Ugh. that invisible creature has really fucked me up i'm not gonna lie like that invisible creature has fucked me up looks like the scanner found some new data like it's just uh do you find new data about this one? The creature appears to protect itself with the energy from the gems it eats. Keep your distance to avoid its supercharged blasts. Oh, well, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense because I was wondering why it had that aura. I love them. Okay, let's grab this. Whatever the hell that was. And let's... I don't even know where to go now, y'all. Let's pop off. Wait, what is that star? What is that star? Did we miss something? What does that star mean? Is that just me? I wish I knew what these symbols were. And right, that burb is lovely. Like, they're lovely. Okay. We love them so much up in here. <laughs> I just, I'm so stressed. Okay, so hold on. Let's pop up here. Is there anything we can destroy with this? Okay, nothing's lighting up. And so I don't think we can use that wave function at all, or wave feature. Let's, let's head down, maybe? Let's head down. 
and see if there are things we can grab here. Oh, good, because we actually really needed that fucking food. <laughs> like, we really needed that food, let's be honest. So thank goodness we fucking found that. I am so stressed. God damn it, we are really tripping balls again. Fuck. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. We're going to head back to the island, please and thank you. Fuck us. Oh god. I am injured. Thank you all for the warm hellos. I appreciate y'all. Gosh, totally damn it. <laughs> oh, least favorite thing, I swear. Okay, hold on. Fertilize. Let's fertilize this bottom one again. Let's fertilize the bottom. Okay. <laughs> and let's... Let's go back into here as we trip balls and try to survive. Okay, we really need energy, though. Like, we, we need energy to come for us. Hold on. Okay, so... Oh, fucking goodness. I think we're gonna die again, y'all. I, th I think we're gonna die. We have four energy. Okay, now we've got 12 energy. But, like, we don't really have much to do because... Unless we find energy, we're kind of screwed. Oh, thank fucking god. Game, thank you so fucking much. <laughs> oh my god, please! No, don't eat that! Phil. You know that we needed that. Phil. You know what, Phil? If it makes you happy. If it makes you happy, eat it, boo. If it makes you happy. Hot damn. Okay, let's fuck off in this general direction. <laughs> And I don't know where else we're supposed to be going, so we're just gonna explore as we trip and call it good. We're so excited over here. Everything is awesome. Oh, maybe those indicate. Okay, so before that thing was black, right? And so maybe they indicate when the gems are ready to harvest. That's my guess, because it wasn't black before, and now that we've like, now that it broke open, we got the gems and now it's, like, the transparent white. So that's, that's my guess as to what the heck that means. So, you know, that's fine. Okay, but we're gonna die in a second, like... Okay, so the issue is, there are no gems around us. There are zero gems around us. <laughs> well, fuck. There are no gems around us. We've got four energy. If we head home... If we head home... Okay, well now we're screwed because I kind of just kind of walked around. We're gonna die. Everything's great. Everything, everything is great. Well, we'll die above water this time. Fuck. Oh no. It's okay. The pod can regenerate. It'll regenerate. It'll be fine. Let's go to our garden. Check our lovely plants. We're still peachy keen over here. We're still fucking tripping over here. We'll water this one. Oh, thank God. Thank you so much for, for stopping that, that fucking thing. <sighs> Let's go back down. I guess. Let's go back down and explore. I am so fucking stressed. I am so fucking stressed, y'all. Okay. Let's look at the map. What is this star? Does that mean that there's something here that I did not find? It's gotta be, right? Like, it means that there's something over here, maybe? That I just... Didn't... Complete, perhaps? <gasps> Not that fucker again. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so stressed. I feel like they're gonna attack us. Okay, let's go back down this way. Gosh, dude. We're gonna try to get as far away of the, the, the fucker as we can. Because if they, if they attack us again, I'm gonna cry. 
I see it moving. <laughs> oh god. This way? This way? I'm waiting for this to, to pop back up to tell us that we're allowed to go back down. God damn it, it's following us. It's following us. I hate it. I fucking hate this. Oh my god. I am so stressed. So, okay, that star must have something to do with this then. Because I can't really, like, I haven't really seen any, like, special items around, right? And so I'm not sure what else it would be referring to. And so let's... Let's let's travel down one. So it looks like that thing is ready to harvest, but because we don't have the um like because we don't have that attack. Oh my god, why are there so many of them? They're gonna attack us and I'm gonna cry. Oh god. Oh god. We're already running low on, on everything in our supplies. Come on. I just want some gems. Oh my god. We're gonna die. Let's go back home. Um... And the next time we enter the ocean... Our pod's gonna break again. It's gonna break. I'm really stressed. I'm glad that when the pod doesn't break, we don't, like, automatically die, because otherwise, ooh, we'd be very dead. Survival class amphibious pods. They can be stifling such a tiny space for even a single person to inhabit. So as the sneaker strolls from the shoreline to her camp, she took in deep breaths of alien ocean air. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, cough. Some furry feathery fuzz had caught in her throat. She saw more creatures ahead of her. Was there a creature on this island? We're gonna walk ahead. I want that creature. If there was a fuzzy bird-like creature on the island, it was doing a great job of hiding. You mean the one that's in our garden? Is that the one you're talking about? Because it is It is in plain spit, like it's in plain, plain sight. <laughs> Only tufts of reddish fur swirled and wafted in the wind. But underneath it, all were lumps of what looked like green barnacles. The seeker picked them up and gave them a slight squeeze. Felt too hard to be edible, but could be worth planting in the future. It was time to find out what foods this planet had hidden away. Alright, we're gonna fucking hope that- Oh! <gasps> Is our bird gone? Oh. I loved them. <gasps> we can tend to the flower. The flower is thriving. Such an invigorating odor. We're gonna- We stroked the plant. That felt so invigorating. <laughs> we stroked the plant. Okay, hold on. I didn't mean to go back there. Let's- oh, Let's dive again. God damn it. Let's dive again, y'all. I, like, there's nothing else we can do. Granted, we're definitely gonna be dead again here in a second because our pod is gonna burst because we just don't have- We just don't have the energy. Like, we literally are at zero energy. We stroked- We stroked the plant, Shiny! We touched the flower. Uh, well, we're, we're- There was nothing we can do there. <laughs> we stroked the flower. But don't worry. It's fine. Alright. We're gonna regenerate our pod again. Let's regenerate the heckin' pod. And let's go back to our heckin' garden, I guess. And let's stroke the plant! I love it. Also, what the fuck is this? Hold on. <laughs> what is happening to this thing? Alright, so that's not ready to harvest yet. Is this one? <gasps> Ooh. Is this one? Decent harvest. I'll put the fruit in my stock. Yes! More things to harvest! And thank you, we stroked the flower. Yeah, you've never stroked a plant before. <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> You know what? Good for you. Good for you. Everyone deserves to stroke a plant every once in a while, okay? Like, stroke whatever you want. As long as you're happy and everyone's okay, you're good. Alright, let's eat these fucking things. <gasps> How interesting. Eating that fruit seemed to have improved my vision. 
Oh, thank you so much, Tofu Butt Woo. God damn it, are we tripping again? Are we? <laughs> we are tripping again. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Um. I hate it here. Ah, uh, damn it. <laughs> Let's travel to that over there. I am so stressed. I am so sorry. These... These motherfuckers. Okay. Hi. Hi. Bill, can you please attack this? Can you please attack that there? I would really appreciate if you attacked that. Oh my god, Bill, I fucking love you. Oh, Bill is my favorite in the entire universe. Okay. Don't attack me. You little fucker. <laughs> Bill is my favorite in the universe, and then promptly fucking attacks me. <laughs> that was so rude, Bill. Alright, the scanner found new items. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give this three. Okay. With no gem shards for food, the eater will use an energy blast to shatter the larger clusters. Tracking this behavior could be useful. And this motherfucker, a sneaky species that uses camouflage to track its prey. Could be dangerous predator if left undetected. Yeah, fucking is. It keeps attacking us. Um, okay, so fruit harvested from a brightly colored tree-like plant. It's it's giving us uh acid trip. Chock full of vital nutrients and unknown alien minerals. And fruit harvested from a bushy bulbous plant. Okay. Is this Can we can we go into these bones? What are you doing, Boo? I am so stressed. I know Bill's just trying to give us a hug. Wait, why is Bill thinking? What was that? Also, what the fuck is that? What 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 is that? And can I have it? Bill? Okay, hold on. Why is Bill thinking like that? Can we Can I talk to you? Bill? Bill? You little piece of butthole. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It made it seem like Bill was trying to communicate. I am injured. Bill, I thought we were friends. Okay, you're looking for... You're looking for the- <gasps> Not again. The betrayal. Oh my god. Get me the fuck out of here. God damn it. Let me upstairs. Get- get- let me- let me in these bones. I am so stressed. Oh, I can't- is there nowhere for me to go? Did I break the game? It's... I can't move anywhere. Fuck. Hi. I love you. Now that we've found a way past those vines, it'd be wise to see what's behind them when it comes to survival and exploration. God damn it. Nothing should be left uninvestigated. Well, almost nothing. Uh, yeah. I, I can't move. Um... I can't use any of these. I have nowhere to click on. And I accidentally ate something that made me trip balls again. <laughs> I did definitely break the game again. So let's press Q to quit. And then let's continue. And hopefully that'll pop me back to the main screen. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Oh my god! What in God's fucking name is that? Uh-uh. No. No. <laughs> Absolutely. The fuck not. We're going back to our goddamn island. Uh, garden. Go to the... hmm. Let's go to our garden. Let's go touch the flower. 
It's invigorating. Let's just go touch the flower. I hate it here. I fucking hate it here. <laughs> I gotta go back out. <laughs> Please help me. Okay, we need to harvest things. Give me this fucking energy, please, and thank you. Oh my god. Give me this thing. I am so stressed. I am so stressed. I broke the butt again. Thank you, butt spot. We're breaking so many butts up in here today. <laughs> butt spot is doing so much work today, and I love it. <laughs> oh, I hate it here. Bill, please don't attack me. We're trying our best, Bill. I am so stressed. Um... I don't think there's anything of importance over here. Maybe... Well... Oh god, I- oh my god. Bill! Bill! I'm so stressed, please. Please, oh my god. Look at this adorable little dino. Oh my god! Oh! You piece of shit. <laughs> that was so rude of you. <gasps> Fuck me. Regenerate, regenerate. God damn it, y'all. I we're gonna touch flowers again. Let's let's stroke the flower. Stroke the flower. That wasn't good at all. Well shit. Are you over the flowers effects? Are you over the flowers effects now? I thought you liked the flower. <laughs> I thought you liked stroking the flower. God damn it. It's fine. Are we surprised that Tofi broke the butt again? Are we ever surprised in breaking butts? Ugh. I'm so stressed. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. I feel like we've explored a lot and I cannot for the life of me figure out what the next step is. Oh my God, Bill, if you attack me. Oh my God, not that thing again. I am gonna cry. <laughs> Bill, please, please. Everything is fine. We're just breaking booties up in here, and I think that I'm very proud of us for it. Very proud of us for it. Not that thing again. No, fuck me. We're going this way. I'm doing everything I can to stay away from the hammerhead looking poopy head. Because I am terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified of it. Because <laughs> it keeps attacking us. Ugh. Okay, we need more energy crystals. Like that, I can't find them anywhere, but like that is what we're looking for. Ooh, give me more food. But like that is what we're, oh my God, we're gonna die. Holy shit. Fuck. Oh, come on, please. Energy crystals, you gotta be out there somewhere. Fuck. I think, I, I think, I think we're gonna die again. I, uh. Like, what are you trying to communicate? God damn it. Like, okay, let's travel back there. Like, without, without energy crystals, we're pretty much fucked. But everywhere we go, we can't get the energy crystals. And so I don't know what's happening. <laughs> and it's making it really difficult to survive. <laughs> Zoning out after another long dive into the ocean. The Seeker's eyes unfocus, her mind unwinds. Suddenly the ground darkens, breaking her gaze. She looks up to see a shape in the distance. Far down the coast is the alien fur bird she'd seen flying out over the shallows. 
It drops an object. It would take a lot for me to walk down to where that fell. The Seeker says to herself, well, we're gonna fucking walk down and get the item. Obviously. The Seeker's curiosity got the best of her. I won't survive out here if I don't explore the possibilities of new resources. Trudging over wet rocks and sand, she finally reaches the object. Her intuition hadn't misled her. The fur bird didn't drop rocks or food scraps. She grabs the item, shakes the water off, and walks back to camp. Her new tool is worth the trip. What new tool did we get? What the fuck? A bedroll? <gasps> Ooh, well, that's really nice then. Okay, that was really kind, and I'm here for it. I am here for it. All right, we're going to fertilize this. And we're going to plant that one and this one. And we're going to stroke the flower. We're always going to stroke the flower. Every time we come over here, there's no other option. All right, let's head back to the beach. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Lilith decided to bless me with her presence. Hold on. Oh, shit. I keep pressing that. Hold on. Here is the girl. Mmm. Hi. I'm so sorry for picking you up. I know you didn't like that. <laughs> but I needed to showcase her because she never comes up because she is very much a don't like to be uh, on the desk kind of cat, you know? She's so cute. Okay. Let's go diving. We really need to find energy crystals, y'all, because otherwise we are fucked. So please, game lords, please. Like, I don't know what else we can do. Like, we literally don't have energy crystals. Like, there, we can't do anything. Like, it, we don't even have the ability to, to do anything. We're gonna die. It just... Oh my god, why are these crystals so hard to find? Alright, regenerate, re regenerate. God damn it. Did my bedroll? We lost the bedroll too. Fuck. We lost the bedroll. Oh, it's, it's infuriating. Okay, let's fertilize this thing. We're going to obviously stroke the flower. <laughs> I love this burb. We're gonna head back to the beach and we're gonna try again. Like there's just, there's not, there, like we can't do anything unless the game gives us energy crystals and it doesn't want to give us energy crystals. So I don't know if we're just getting super, super unlucky or it's a, or if it's like a feature of the game that makes it like the, the, just them wanting it to make it really, really hard to survive, you know? because it's been very, very difficult to survive. <laughs> okay. Hello. Oh no, Bill. Bill, there's an entire- Motherfucker. Bill! This little booty head. Bill, there is literally- There is some shit here for you, sir. We're just gonna stop. We're gonna see if Bill comes this way. Okay, Bill did not want to come this way. But that's okay. Well, let's go this way then. Let's go this way. Like we literally can't do anything unless the game gives us energy crystals. Like we can't, you know? Mm, nothing over here as well. No energy crystals. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Oh, thank fucking goodness. Oh my god. Oh, I don't want that. No, god damn it. Fuck. <laughs> as soon as I did it, I realized that I fucked up. As soon as I did it, I was like, well, shit. <laughs> oh god. Okay, hold on. Let's go here. Let's take this item. Is this ready for harvesting? It is not. Or hold on. Okay, it is not. It's not glowing, so it's not ready for harvest. However, now we have a charge of that wave thing, which means that we can actually break this open. We can actually break this open. 
I'm a little scared that it's not going to let us break it open now. Because beforehand, oopsies, beforehand it always showed it glowing if it was ready, and it's not glowing. Fuck. Let's try this one down here. Let's try that one down there. We, we just need one to be glowing so we can break it open. Oh my fucking god, I hate this. I hate the cr I hate that creature so much. Okay. God damn it, it's not glowing. Do we risk it and try? I don't know when we're gonna get another wave though is the issue. Okay. One more, t one more attempt. One more attempt is, is up here. I just, I'm afraid because we've died, like, so many times. Like, we've, we've had to regenerate so many- <laughs> A roll three. I, f I feel like those odds say no. <laughs> Not a good omen, right? Okay, we risked it. No! Damn it. Well- Let's head back up. Damn. Like, I don't know what to do, y'all. Because the game isn't giving us energy crystals. And if we don't have energy crystals, we don't have the ability to explore. And whenever we do have the wave things, we can't break open. We can't break open the things. And if we can't break open the things, then we can't get energy crystals. Damn it. Stroke the plant. Maybe the plant is giving us bad luck. Maybe I shouldn't stroke it, but like, we'll we'll figure that out later. Please, 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 please. We're gonna cross our fingers, cross our fingers, cross our booty hole hairs, cross everything that this breaks open for us. God, thank fucking God. Oh my God, thank goodness. Give me this goddamn. Give me this fucking thing. Oh my God. Okay, is this one gonna break open too now? Is this one ripe for the breaking? Oh my fucking god. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. No, Bill, this is mine. We need this more than you right now. This one too? Is this one ripe? Is it? Oh my fucking god, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I was getting very scared for our chances of survival, you know? Like, I was getting really concerned. <laughs> like, remarkably concerned. Okay, so, I feel like this is something, you know? The fact that it's bubbling like that really makes me feel like something, is, like we're supposed to be able to grab it. However, I guess my, my issue is that I don't know how to get in there. Hopefully this breaks a bone. Will it break a rib? Fuck, it did not. I was hoping that it'd break something. That way we, like, were able to get inside. Oh, this fucking thing is gonna destroy me again, isn't it? I can just, I can see it coming near me. Come on, break a rib so we can get inside. Fuck. Well, maybe, maybe we can't, right? The strongest bones ever, honestly. Like, I don't know. It just feels like we're supposed to get the item, but I can't. Like, I just literally have no, have no way of getting it. And we are gonna die soon too is the issue. Especially cause the star is there. I feel like the star might signify that like, Thing is that like that um like that there there's a special item that we haven't gotten but is like th you're here in this location right like I I feel I feel like it's because why would it bubble for no reason because nothing else in this t like in this area is bubbling like none of it right I fucking hate this water bug creature they like it, it I've got very bad very very bad arachnophobia and it's like it's it's given me it's given me pseudo spider. <laughs> This surface-dwelling creature has an elongated mouth for eating its underwater food while staying safe above. You know, good for you, babes. Use that heckin' tongue. Use that heckin' tongue. Alright. Let's go back to the island for now. 
Because I don't know what else we can do is the issue, right? Like, I don't think there's anything else we can we can do over there. Like, we've tried everything. Like, we've tri we tried a lot of different shit, and none of it's working. All right, stroke the flower. Stroke the flower. Also, hi, Bean. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. We're playing Aquamarine. Let me make sure I output those again, um, just in case for the trigger warnings and things like that. I hope you're doing well. We are stressed. We are stressed trying to survive, and it's not going well. <laughs> it's going very badly, actually. <laughs> but we're trying. Oh my god. And the issue is now that we've broken open all of these. I don't know if there's actually any other clusters. <gasps> Give me this one. Give me this one. No, you go away, Bill. Bill! This is mine. I'm sorry, Bill. You deserve so many good things, but we needed that more than you. Let's be honest. We needed that more than you did. Okay. So, we definitely... Okay, so, look. Just, just like we've got those, like, scattered, like rip signs here it's gotta it's like we've gotta be able to move to the right down here as well i'm just not entirely sure how oh i didn't realize that was down here because every time we try to break open every time we try to break open these corals it doesn't let us and so i don't know how some of that coral wouldn't be too difficult to break apart but every time we try we can't do it so i don't know if we're just not strong enough or if it's a glitch or something, because it's it's supposedly we're supposed to be able to do it. I just we we haven't been able to. And so I don't know what's happening. And I'm glad that you're doing well. I'm so glad that you're doing well. But like it's just oh, I don't know how to break it open. Oh god. And that creature's there again. Okay. Because this seems like the right spot. Because this one looks all cracked and crumbly, right? Like. I don't know. Is it just me? Like, am I, am I, am I do some, am I doing something painfully, obviously wrong, you know? Because. I feel like this should be breaking. Because where else am I supposed to go? Like, where? how else am I supposed to do that? Because we've tried breaking this top one and this bottom one, and, like, this one looks like the oldest crumbly one, right? Right, right, right? Like, I don't know what to do at this point. Because, like, we've gone everywhere else. There's only so many times we can go into the ocean and then back out, then into it, then back out, right? And so... I'm not sure what to do, to be quite honest with you. I don't know what to do. Oh god. And this creature's gonna fuck me up. I can just feel it in my booty hole. They're gonna come, they're gonna come for us. Let's try this one. Maybe this one? It's still nothing. So like... I don't know what to do anymore. Oh god, let's go back home. Let's go back home. It's, hmm, let's go back. Let's go back. May, like, maybe I'm supposed to get something that makes us more powerful, but I don't know where it could be because we've explored everywhere. Also, right? Like we've we've explored everywhere. The flower looks just fine. Funny, it has no scent, but we're gonna touch it. Huh? I don't feel anything. Well, that sounds like an issue. Oh god. I'm I'm a little concerned. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about how we're gonna do this next this next diving round. Um what time is it? It's 4.30. Okay, I'll probably have to pop up. Pop off here in a second. That way. I can prepare for DD. But let's do let's do one more one more exploration. Oh fuck, we're gonna die immediately. <laughs> Like, we're, we're gonna be dead immediately. Um, we're just gonna explore a little bit. Well, fuck. Sometimes I don't feel anything. 
<laughs> Is that the depression, Umi? Because I feel that. <laughs> I feel that. Alright, regenerate. Re fucking generate, please. I just. We're gonna touch the flower. <laughs> I don't feel anything. Alright, let's do one more. Because that was really quick. Like, that was really short lived, right? Because we literally had zero um, energy. Let's do one more deep dive. See if we can find anything that maybe I missed, you know? Like, maybe. Maybe I missed some stuff. Because I sometimes miss things, because I am a human, unfortunately. But like, don't know where else we're supposed to go, you know? Let's go this way. Let's go this way, right? And sometimes I just lay down and call my dogs for no reason. Exactly. Sometimes I'll just fucking lay on the couch and let the cats sit on me. And I'll just stay there staring at the screen for like three hours. Like staring at a blank television screen for like three hours. Because it makes me happy, you know? It's the little things. It's the little things. Okay. Oh! Wait. Why did that thing ping? Why did that thing do a ping? Like... What? Is there something over here that I've just missed this entire fucking time? Like... Is there an item that could have improved... Our survival rate? What is that noise that... Oh, it's Bill! <gasps> oh, it's this motherfucker! What keeps pinging? And why can I not do anything with it? I don't know what to do, y'all. Like... I feel so bad. Poor Bill. And right, like the cuddle puddle. I love that. Cuddling animals is the best. Exactly. It's so good. They like they're so happy with it too, you know? It's just all over a great time. And I just really, really love it, you know? Um let's go here. Maybe this one. I just I don't know what to do, y'all. Like I, I don't know what else to do in this game. You know, I'm gonna have to look up spoilers later because I... I just want to see if other people have been able to break that coral. You know, I, f I feel like that's the thing that is stunting us to get to the next part. And I don't know how to break it. I don't know how to break it. Alright. It's a bit smelly. What happened to this flower? That's okay. All right. You know what? We'll call that good for the day. That way I can, um, <laughs> look up a guide because <laughs> I don't know what else to do about that. <laughs> Let me go to just chatting.